What's going on guys, JT here with the first drive for me of the Arma Typhon 3S BLX. You guys know that I did an unboxing, I did a couple comparisons videos. It's actually rainy, man. This weather in Georgia has just been crazy. So I didn't want to drive it for its first time on a wet surface, but I'm going to get this run in because I'm crack feeding y'all. See how this thing runs. I'm trying to stand underneath the tree so I don't get too wet. And this thing is getting up. Woo! Try not to run into that piece of rain dropped into my eye. And this is running good, guys. Uh, trying to get a feel for it real quick. I am running on 3S, of course, 50C LiPos, of course, 5,000 milliamps. I'll put a link in the description. I'm going to have all kinds of crap inside my car. These tires are holding up better than I thought they would, especially being wet out here. Look at that, look at that. I will come down full speed, but. Yeah, uh, good job, Arma. I, that's all I gotta say. I can't say anything else. If, if I could turn my camera around, y'all would see I got a big Kool-Aid smile on my face. Cause I'm really liking the way this thing is handling and running. You can't, you cannot beat this for the price point. I mean, I know I talked about the Kyosho uh, DBX VE 2.0 and also the uh, the Hobby King Rattler. And I gotta go fetch. As I said, I know I talked about those cars um, and doing a comparison because I remember a couple of things about them. And performance wise, I know right off the bat, those don't compare with this. They really, really done. I know this is a newer version, and those have been out for a couple years, etc. But there's still cars that came out years ago that are still competitive, like the HPI Vorza. I mean, people are still getting that car. Price is a little steep for it, but uh, yeah, you know. But with the DBX, um, it lacked the acceleration. Like, right off bat, I mean, it, it kind of had a... You probably need to change the electronics out. That'd be the best way to put it. It needed a more powerful motor, more powerful ESC in it. Um, and there were a couple of things, too. I have to uh, revisit some of my final thought videos on those cars. Um, look at this thing go. Yeah, I got some plans for this. Y'all have no idea. Of course, I'll get all four of the cars out. But first, this is going to go versus the Sentin. And then, of course, it'll go versus my uh, eight-scale buggies, too. I don't know why I'm running through all this pine straw. It's going to be everywhere inside the car. Yeah, I jumped that on purpose because I knew that was going to jump that. We'll do it again. All this pine straw. I don't know if y'all can hear this rain coming. Okay, we flipped. God, you can't beat the price. You can't beat this, guys. I'm telling you right now. Excuse me. I still have got a cold or a cough. I'm still trying to get rid of, so that's why I'm not talking as much. I don't want to be coughing every every two or three seconds, but this thing is running good, guys. It really is. I give Arma all props for doing this. I really do. Same way I felt with the Sentin, the Granite, and the Big Rock. I give them props. I really do. Um, good job. I mean, really, really good job. I think you guys are going to sell a lot of these. And I do mean a lot. Look at this thing go.
Trying to adjust something real quick. Yeah, if you guys are ever wanting to get a buggy, uh, a 10 scale buggy, just just get this. Just just go ahead and get this. Don't even don't even think twice about it. Because this is going to be bigger than your normal 10 scale buggy. I got people up here spectating, stopping their cars at the top looking. Um, I need to have an armor flag on the back of this right so they know what I'm driving. Um, don't even don't even don't even think twice about it. If you want to get something you can bash with and run with and possibly run on the track. Now, it's going to be interesting. I got to check out the specs, um, especially some of the royal rules for running uh, eight scale buggies and stuff because you can possibly take this to the track and just run it on 3s i got leaves and stuff caught all up in the wheels you guys hear that right but look at this this thing is handling a lot better even better than i thought it would got a lot of grass in it oh i gotta clean all that out but Look at that, baby. Look at that. Oh, miss it. Anyway, guys, that's the first run, uh, first 3S run on this. I am impressed. I really am. I'm going to uh, try to run this some more and get some of that gunk and all that ah, off of there. But anyway, guys, uh, this is a good buggy so far. Uh, I will be doing some comparisons to some 8-scale buggies and to some of the other uh, brands, too, that are released. But so far, so good. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.